was in this smell. I sure am glad you've come. Oh, Molly. This house won't seem the same without Bonnie. How's Miss Scarlet bearing you? Miss Melly, this year's done broke her heart. But I didn't bet you here on Miss Scarlet's account. What that child got to stand, the good Lord give us strength to stand. It's Mr. Red I was worried about. He done lost his mind these last couple of days. Oh, no, Mammy, no. I ain't never seen no man, black or white, sit at the store on any child. When Dr. Mead say her neck broke, Mr. Red grabbed his gun and run out there and shoot that poor pony. And for a minute, I think he got to shoot his son. Oh, poor Captain. Yes, sir. And Miss Scarlett, she called him a murder for teaching that child to jump. She said, you give him my baby what you kill. And then he said, Miss Scarlett ain't never cared nothing about Miss Buckley. And like to turn my blood cold, the things they say to one another. Stop, Mammy, don't tell me anymore. <laughs> And then that night, Mr. Red, he locked himself in the nursery with Miss Bonnie. But he wouldn't even open the door when Miss Scarlett beat on it and hollered to him. And that's where it's been for two whole days. Oh, <laughs> and then this evening, Miss Scarlett, she shouted at the door. And she said, the funeral set for tomorrow morning. And he said, you try that, and I killed you tomorrow. Do you think I'd want to put my child in the... In the dark when she's so scared of it. Oh, Mammy, Mammy, he has lost his mind. Yes, I'm just to God, too. He ain't gonna let us bear that child. You gotta help us, Miss Melly. Oh, but I can't. It's true. If you can't help us, who can? Mr. Red always set great store by your opinion. Please, Miss Melly. I'll do what I can, Mammy. Mrs. Wilkes, Captain Butler. Please let me in. I've come to see Bonnie. Mr. Red, in this odd, this beast. 